Hi guys, it's Roscoe here. I'm just taking over the YouTube today because I'm going to show you what my life is like. <laughs> Wrong video. <laughs> hey guys, it's Matt here. And it's Ryan here and Roscoe. Ah! So a lot of you ask for kind of like a Roscoe update kind of video or day in. Well basically you want some Roscoe It's videos. an 18 week update. So yeah, um, if you want some Roscoe videos, we're going to do kind of like um, a day in his life. But um, it's really dark. Come, yeah, and like we've just... Well, it's to come. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't Ooh. want to be in it now. He doesn't so, want to be in it. This is the star of the today's video. <laughs> His name's Roscoe. And I'm um, really a nine week old one, I think. Yeah, I a nine week old one. So we have some questions. Just that we're going to go through and just update you on how we feel about our new baby. Not new, he's kind of old now. <sighs> and we need to make sure that we keep him in the shop the whole time. The last video we ended up just dropping him out of the shop. Yeah. But he's so tired. But um, um, we just went to the vet and he has literally gained like double his weight. Yeah, so, so now he's four kilograms. So since the last time he's filmed this, he's doubled his weight. He was 2.2 2 and now he's four. I mean, he's if I hold him up, I have to hold him with two hands. And when we got him, Ryan could hold him in the one. Cat's <laughs> butthole. Okay, right. let's go. Just a quick recap. Why did you get a Boston Terrier? We got a Boston Terrier because it fits in with our lifestyle. Um, we were they're gonna lazy. get yeah, like they they he's lazy, like he's so lazy. But um, they have their energy moments, don't they? Yeah. We were gonna. What were we gonna get? We we're gonna get a Chihuahua. We were gonna get a pug. a pug, French bulldog, a British English bulldog. No, we were. We were never gonna get a British. Yes, we were. Stop okay. making me look silly on the camera. <laughs> I can't stop doing this for We were gonna get a jug. Um. And then there was other ones we were going to get, and then I came across a Boston Terrier, and then she showed Matthew, and we were like, that's yes. the one. It's because they're cute, and I've always wanted like a boxer dog looking kind of dog. And he's kind of an American gentleman, and like Matthew's obsessed with America, so it kind I of... I am. Yeah, he is. And I, I used to love bow ties, so it kind of fits in. What's Roscoe like at night? He's really good. He now puts himself to bed. He's really good. He like, you don't hear a peep. I don't think he was ever bad. I honestly no. don't think he was ever, I remember people told me that they've had to stay up weeks and yeah. weeks and weeks. Roscoe's never been bad. No. Like, thank God for that. And I do honestly think the trick is, it's because his crate is in the room we're always in. Yeah. So like, this is like his main room. And yeah. He, this is crates in here too. A lot of people like, have their crate in their bedroom and we were just like, well no, that's, How do you that's do? like, I feel like that's teasing them. Cause you hear them, like they'll hear you and then they'll just whine because they're like, I want attention. Whilst if they're in a different room, Room, it's too bad. What's the most that you leave him in the day? Say about five hours. Yeah, five hours, Matt, and that's rare. Like, Point one of us is always home. To be fair, with yeah, I mean, it's hard and now it's near Christmas, especially we've got deadlines. But he's really good, and I think once we get he gets a bit older, we'll just leave him in the kitchen, so it's fine. If we leave him for like five hours, like it's normal, and he just sleeps. He's a sleepy bug, he's aren't you? Mm. Um, what's Roscoe's personality like? Needy. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Needy, stupid. Clueless. Clueless. Playful. Playful. And happy. He's happy, he's a happy dog. Yeah. He friendly, wants to be with you all the time. Loving and friendly, which is what the brood is. They're known for being really affectionate. And he's so affectionate. Like, if someone, if he sees someone, he'll just want to lick them. And he's more, he wants more attention from a human than a dog. He'd rather run to a human yeah, than a dog. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? But yeah. He, I know people say that dogs are like, um, they're like really needy and they want to be around people. He literally wants to be your shadow. Like, we'll leave the yeah. room and he'll sit by the door and have like his face against the yeah. door, like, just waiting for you to come back but in. But some people don't like that. I personally don't I mind it. I like, love it. I, I, like, I like the fact that when I'm cooking, he's there. I like the fact that he watches. And I like the fact that if I drop food, I'll have to clean it. He'll lick it up. Because <sighs> he's waiting for that food. He's my hoover. Are there any boundaries in the house that he's not allowed to go in? Um, well, he wasn't allowed in the bedroom when we first got him, but we let him in the morning. No. Basically, I was like, he's not coming in the bed. It's gross. Dogs don't go in beds. Next thing I know, I'm getting a Snapchat when I'm out and Roscoe's in the bed. But to be fair, like, it is the best thing. So you will take him for a quick wee and then he'll run up and then we'll have a little, like, half an hour lay in yeah. with him and he just loves it. Like, but we'll only, if we won't let him sleep in the bed, no, like, it's only when we get up in the morning, we'll let him up for pee and then he'll come into bed. Because normally, we don't, get, we don't normally get up at the same time. So I, mean, I get up or you get up. And if we do get up at the same time, he normally just like, chills in bed while we get ready. Yeah. Because that's where we get ready, like, we don't come to the lounge or anything in the morning whilst we're getting our stuff on. Now we're just going to ask Roscoe because it's mid-video. How are you feeling? Why is there a good thing on him? Because he's so white and he's picking back a little bit. He's white. 
Are you okay, Roscoe? Oh, are you okay? Do I give him a kiss? Mm, look at him. <laughs> so cute. What's the worst thing about Roscoe? He has a bit of a two, no, a foot fetish at the moment. I think he's just teething I a think, little bit. I remember when I was researching it, I think it's like him being playful. Like, and we weren't doing the situation properly, but we were no. like, we were just like, like, no, and then he'll do it again. Whilst now we kind of like go out and we play with a toy, which is what we did with our hands when he yeah. first got him, and he doesn't even bite our hands like, at all. He doesn't even yeah. bite our feet, he just wants to play. Yeah, like, he's just such a playful dog. Yeah. Um, I think probably the worst thing about him is probably, I know he's known for a farting breed, but like, yeah. sometimes they kill you. They are like, one now. they are so bad, and you can hear them, they literally go, yeah. Like, it's so cute. No shame. What's the best thing about Roscoe? The um, best thing today, literally, I think he's starting to slowly potty train himself. Did he go to the door again? He literally went to this door. I had this door shut, and he went to this door and sat up. I opened it, opened the front door, and he literally went all the way down. It's so cute. And I was just like, I'm so proud of you. And then he ran away, and I was like, Roscoe. He, we basically haven't had any accents in the apartment for so long. You haven't have we? No. Like he can hold it really well now. Yeah. Again. Like he's so good. In the night he'll do an accent, accent on his on keypad his, yeah, that he has in his crate. But if I have to get up and go to the toilet in the night. So. Yeah. If you could change Roscoe's name, what would you change it to? If I knew his personality, knew what he was gonna be, I feel like I would change it. I'm trying to think of another word. Fart. Guff. Guff. Something like. Come guff. here, guff. Like something like. like ugh. Like, do you know what I mean? Like a bit of like air, Her. or like <laughs> puff. But yeah, or yeah, I don't know, puff to puff, not really. I think I'd call him- Or Hugo, I- Hugo. I really like that name, Hugo. I'm feeling the word dash. Not only is it linked to the best family in the world, the Kardashians, but also because he's fast. He's not fast. He is, but he, he runs, is. he's the fast. He'll be fast like two seconds of it. And then <laughs> Yeah, he ain't fast. So that's it. That's just like a quick update on Roscoe and his new life and his new home. So yeah, we did one. We'll probably do enough one when he's a bit older. And um, we are going to do more like daily videos or more kind of scenic, like cinematic videos. Yeah. Um, but make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And there is definitely going to be a Roscoe life daily routine, whatever you want to call it, coming. Yeah. And if you've got any questions about Roscoe, then leave, leave them, them in the comment box below. below. Or tweet us and make sure you follow our Twitter. All our social media links are linked down below in the description. I love you guys and we'll see you this Sunday. Bye. Bye. Mwah.